Hello to all of my beautiful and diverse friends out in YouTube land. Can you see where we are? Yes, we are at Gatorland. <laughs> we had to come see it mostly because I have a budding ornithologist on my hands and this is where all the tropical birds are in Orlando. So we came to Gatorland to check it out. So why don't you come on in and check out Gatorland with us. We've never been here before, so I'm excited to see what they've got and see all the tropical birds and gators and all the other cool stuff here in Gatorland. Let's get here. You see this giant gaping gator mouth. Okay. We're going in. Dunning. 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 Sorry. <laughs> okay, you guys. So we are at the entrance of Gatorland. We actually bought annual passes. We're going to do annual passes to pretty much everything in Orlando. This is our first one. Next is actually going to be Margaritaville H2O Live. But this is our first annual pass. And look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the most gators I have seen in one spot ever in my entire life. That is crazy. I'm pretty excited to see what all they have here. Ryan's super excited about the birds, so let's go see what they've got. Besides gators. You guys, look at the babies. Oh, they're kind of cute. <laughs> in a prehistoric reptilian sort of way. They're so little. Very cool. There's a whole bunch of fish down here. I thought maybe he was going for the fish, but I don't think he is. That's a big fella. Look at this fella. I wonder how old he is. I don't know where Ryan when he took off on me. That is pretty much the biggest tortoise I have ever seen in real life. That is one humongous fella. And tired fella. Sorry, I just like did a 180, 360 thing with the camera. I'm trying to figure out where Ryan's at. I think he went towards the birds. So let's go find the birds. Uh, so... They have dinosaurs here. <laughs> Look at, this is the biggest gator I have ever seen in my entire life. Oh my gosh. What do you think he weighs, Ryan? His tail goes way back there. That is his head. I'm not putting my hand down there. <laughs> And then he's got a little friend with him. That is one humongous gator. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I don't think I'm going to be swimming here. This is yet another Jigundo. You guys, these, these creatures are so fascinating. And they really are beautiful. I mean, they're incredible and amazing. I cannot believe the size of these guys. Like, have you ever seen gators this big? I, the camera's not doing it justice. Let me see if I can close up on him. Look at him. Oh my goodness, you are one awesome dude. I am just in awe of these guys. This is incredible. This is the path. Look at, can you guys see the zipline towers? That's actually a pretty good height zipline tower. I'm walking down the path. We're heading towards the birds. I think we're heading towards the birds. I hope we're going the right way. We're just kind of discovering as we go along, but look at all these guys. It reminds me of Nemo, only they're not seagulls. But can you still hear it? Mine, 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 mine. Oh my gosh. Can you guys see the one with the moth fluffed up? Look. What's up, dude? Yeah. That is so cool. Oh, hey, what's up, handsome? These guys are everywhere, just kind of standing guard over the gators. 
Look how beautiful. Oh, he's so pretty. Hi, pretty. Hi. Gosh, the wildlife in Florida is just breathtaking. There is nothing like, oh my gosh, you guys, can you see? There's a peacock up there. That is so cool. <laughs> okay, I am just in wonderment in awe right now. There is a peacock up on the zipline pole. And he's really beautiful. Wow. Okay, I gotta go find Ryan because he took off somewhere. But the, the trail is like pretty straightforward, so I'm sure I'll find him somewhere. What kind of bird is that? Is that an egret as well? Oh, he's so cute. I wanna cuddle him. He's standing guard. All these birds are like security guards or something. This is amazing. Can you guys see way, way, way up there? That's like the highest zip line tower. This place is amazing. So check this out. This zip liner is one of the landings for the zip line. Can you guys see this? It goes like, I don't know if I'd have the guts to do that. There's a lot of gators swimming like right there. I don't know if I have the guts to do that, but that would be really cool if I could get the guts up to do it. We'll see, maybe. Alligator effect, you guys, this is wading birds, herons, egrets, and ibises will nest in trees and bushes over gator habitat for protection from predators such as raccoons, bobcats, and snakes. If the baby birds fall in the water, they become gator bait. So birds nest around these gators for protection. I, I guess I never knew that. I guess I always thought that they were in danger of being gator bait, but if the babies fall in, they are gator bait. But I guess, you know, obviously gators can't fly. So, <laughs> wow. Okay, we're still trying to find the birds. I think we headed the wrong way, but that's okay because that way we get to see the whole park either way. Hello, little Anal. Check these guys out. Emus! They're so fluffy! These are so cool. Look how big they are. Let me see if I can get over there and get a better shot of them. I love emus! They're like Muppets! Hey guys! <laughs> Those are so neat. They remind me of Muppets. Like from the Muppet Show. Come on, down. Aww. <laughs> right there is where they have the alligators legends of the swamp show <gasps> but oh my gosh hold on you guys one sec this is cuddles i don't i don't think i'm gonna cuddle cuddles cuddles is is that an albino python I'm not sure. Wow, that is one very, very cool specimen. Hi, buddy. I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie, but you're so cool. Wow. I feel really stupid. That's not a real snake right there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's not, that's not cuddles. That's where they have the show of cuddles. It looks so real. Did you guys think it was real? I thought it was really the snake. And then I'm like, wait a minute. Why would they have the snake out there where anybody could just like grab and... Anyway, it looks so real. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I don't think you guys can see, but oh, oh, there we go. Oh, look at that baby. a bobcat. Oh, isn't he darling? Oh my goodness. I just want to cuddle him and snuggle him. He's so cute. Okay, so they are also venomous, and with that being said, the locals make up all these crazy stories about them. Like they jump out the bushes, they whack you over the head with a baseball bat, and they go on Facebook and message your ex-girlfriend. 
<laughs> yeah, look at him go. Totally. Now, the only way the thing will actually bite you, if you actually step on it, like Avi said earlier, because they blend in so well, or if you actually do something stupid. Now, show us something stupid, Avi. What? No, what? Yeah. So for you souvenir people, they have the collectible pennies, just like they do in like Disney and things like that. And then they have these collectible medallions, which are pretty cool. They have gators on them. Uh, this is a dollar for one coin or eight dollars for four coins. I don't think that makes any sense. Anyway, and then the pennies are 51 cents. Obviously, put the penny in to crush that, which has the Gatorland emblems on it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. They have a Dippin' Dots ice cream thing here. They do have beer and alcohol here for those of you that are interested. And this is the zip line depot where you would go to get ready to go on the zip line. They have cappuccino for those of you like Aaron and I who really like chocolate and coffee and caffeine. Fresh squeezed lemonade. Ooh. Treats, they've got fudge, funnel cakes. We got a lot of really good treats here. So if you don't want to bring, you know, usually I bring a cooler or something with me, but I didn't today. So today we're probably going to be cheating and eating. Oh, hi. A little snack in Gatorland. Hi, fella. I think I just heard this guy say, I'm Batman. <laughs> okay, we're heading to the flamingos first. Look at these guys. That's just my, my iPhone 8 on its regular HD. Look at the color of these guys. Look at their little looting necks. They must get a lot of shrimp. Wow, these guys are very, very vibrant coral. They're like a coral color. Hi, dude. Actually, normally you can feed them, but it looks like the um, flamingo food machines are out of order right now. Wow, are they pretty. I'm not sure where he's at. I, I don't... I don't think that's him, but there's this gator here named Lotjaw. He's one of the biggest, if not the biggest alligator at Gatorland. He's 14 feet long and over a thousand pounds. That might have been one of those humongo ones that I saw a little while ago. There's a lot of them in here, but none of them could possibly be lockjaw because these guys are big, but they're not quite that big. Yikes. Check this shot out. Hi, beautiful. These birds are so pretty. There's snow white. Oh, I know, I know. Talk to him. Talk to him. Wow, that was cool. I think we can get it. This is the budgie cage, you guys. Parakeets galore. I'm gonna see if we can get in here. I don't, I don't know. I think we can, but let's go find out. Okay, so the aviary has certain times, guys. It's like 108 right now, so at 2 o'clock we'll go in there and feed the budgies. Oh, I'm so excited! Hi, cutie pie. Hi, sweetheart. You guys, this is Chester, the big dog eater. I don't know why they call him that. I don't think I want to know. He is 13 and a half feet long. Oh, that's why. The big feller's name is Chester, and he loves eating dogs in Tampa. Ooh. 13 and a half feet long and a thousand pounds. Wow. Can you guys see him? He's albino. He is so pretty. Hi, gorgeous. This is Pearl. And the Cajun Creole meaning of Pearl, which obviously you can see why the skater is named Pearl, is real pretty. Oh, wow, that is an amazing, amazing specimen. These are all albinos and hairs. Even their eyes, can you guys see the eyes? 
These are white. These are incredible. I've never seen an albino gator before. That is one seriously cool creature. Wow. And here we have the elusive Burmese python. Hi, guy. They have really pretty markings. He's just kind of chill. He's bored. Oh, okay, that one's empty. We gotta go find more stuff. This guy is an Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Oh, he's a big one. Oh, there's another one back there too. Do you see the littler one? Very cool. This exhibit, by the way, it also is a pygmy rattlesnake, is the Snakes of Florida exhibit. So there's a lot of them. Oh, I think Ryan just found the boys. Hi, buddy. Hello. Can you say hello again? I do. Hi, sweetheart. Hello. Oh, he did just say hello, but I missed it. I know. Aw, he's so pretty. Ah, he's a parrot. I know that. I don't know exactly what he is, but oh, he's so sweet. Hi, buddy. Hello. Ryan found the cockatoos. He's got cockatoo radar. I know you guys can't really see. This one has like this beautiful coral color. And what kind is that? Oh, wait, is that an African gray? Hi, sweetheart. Hello. Hi, buddy. This is an African gray. That was beautiful. Can you do it again? Hello. Won't be able to look, but he's not going to talk. Hi, sweetheart. Wow. Those are beautiful birds. Check out this playful guy. Hi. Hi, beautiful. These parrots are just gorgeous. It's feathers, everything is so beautiful. There's a sign here that says, we bite. Seriously, It'll take a chunk out of your fingers. So when you're checking these guys out, make sure you don't stick your hands too close to them because they are wild. Beautiful, but wild. So you can get your photos taken here. It's like it's $12.99 for a 5 by 7 You can actually get them put on the t-shirts as well. Postcards. There is a cost for that, but there is this really cool station called Snake and Gator Photos. That would be really cool as a souvenir. We just stopped at Pearl's Eats, which is a little snack stand here. They have hamburgers, cheeseburgers. They have loaded nachos and ultimate nachos. They have pork nachos that have macaroni and cheese on them for $5.39, but the prices run about $2 to $7, depending on what you're wanting. Ryan got a hot dog, I got some french fries, and that's about it, just because we needed a little pick-me-up. Now we're about to get some ketchup, but I have to find out where the ketchup cups are. ...percent <laughs> chance of actually making it to adulthood. So every alligator in this arena you see, well, they're fighters, and they do not give up easy. But it looks like I'm just going over the beer and I'm doing public safety. What are you doing? Public safety. Right, I'm glad you're safe. No problem. <laughs> Alright, pull them up. That's a good thing. That guy has way more guts than I do. That's for sure. Okay, we're heading to the budgies. Yay! Full of french fries and tons of water. Stay hydrated. So Ryan said that this is a sulfur crusted. Sulfur crusted? Yeah. Sulfur crusted. I thought he said salted crusted cockatoo. <laughs> that is a pretty bird. Although, 
I think he's kind of taking a bath, so it's hard to get a shot of him. Hi, buddy. Hi, pretty bird. He's like, yeah, 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 I'm taking a bath. Buddy. When you guys come in to see the budgies, you got to get some feet sticks. Look at this, you guys. Oh, my gosh, it's like a bird wonderland. This is the budgie aviary. Look at these guys. Oh, look at these pecking at my toes. They're pecking at my toes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, your toes are gonna get nibbled in here. <laughs> That's so funny. Look at these guys, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like, it's like nibble land. You have to very gently shuffle your feet. Because, hi sweetheart. Because they're, they'll land right on your toes and nibble. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like the coolest part of Gatorland right here. You will have like at least five plus budgies land on you if you get the feeding sticks, I promise. I think Ryan's in heaven right now. My little ornithologist. Look at all these guys. Hi. Hi, fellas. Hi. Yeah, this is pretty cool. All I feel is teeny little nibbles. I'm gonna call you nibbles, okay? You're nibbles now. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I think Ryan would live in here if he could. <laughs> you have two friends. Hi, friends. We are going into the general store, you guys, and they have these cute little. Remember the invisible dogs on a leash? That's what these remind me of. I don't. Six ninety nine for the not invisible gators on a leash. Loving gator life. Cool as a gator, gator land. That's pretty cute. Tank tops. And they are, hold on, $22.99. We've got bathing suits. Wow, look at that beach towel. That's cool. They've got, oh, look at Ryan loves to wear um, goggles in the pool and in lakes and stuff. That would be cool goggles. Look at these cute guys. They're so super soft. And that one just fell. $7.99. We had a tragedy. Anyway, just a super small little general store with some cute souvenirs. I wanted to get this better shot of the splash pad for you guys. Come in here, bring the kids, or hey, just bring yourself. Throw on a bathing suit and cool down. It is pretty hot today, so this is nice that they have this so the kids can unwind and cool down a little bit. And it's really cute. I think we're going to go try and find the train and go for a train ride now. On the way to the train. What's down there? Oh, and there's a little and all. We happened upon this guy. They have this beautiful horned owl. Who's sleeping? So he wakes up around dusk, which makes sense considering they're nocturnal, but I thought I'd show him to you guys because he's so cool. Okay, so I'm a little bummed the train is closed for maintenance. But that's okay because we have yearly passes now. We'll ride it again. This is actually the train station. It takes you all the way around Gatorland, which would be so much fun. I wish it was open. Oh, look. How's he here? But by the train station, we saw some macaws. There's like these two random gorgeous blue macaws hanging out. I think it might be the two from Rio. Anyway, I'll show them to you guys. They're so cool. Hey, how come you guys are hiding? Um, excuse me, Mr. McCaw, sir. 
Pretty bird. Hello. Oh, they're not having it. These guys are right by the train station. Hi, beautiful. Zip letter. <laughs> These guys are just hanging out right by the train station. I'm really bummed out that the train is is out of order right now, but that's okay. We're still having fun. We'll ride it next time. Hi. He's gonna dance for you now. Oh yeah. Dance it up, baby. I just found an awesome Instagram opportunity. It's a little morbid. It's a little gross. But it would still be really cool for Instagram. There's actually another one over there too. There's a few really, really good Instagram shots. And actually, in front of the macaws over there by the train station would also be. But that's a pretty darn good Instagram shot right there. There's albinos and I know that actually there's albinos and there's one other name for the ones with blue eyes and I can't remember it starts with an L I think. We found this adventure outpost guys. This is like the main gift shop here. They have Stetson hats and leather goods. It's a very crocodile Dundee. Put another shrimp on the bobby. Yeah, I gotta go there. I do a terrible Australian accent <laughs> anyway. They have long sleeve shirts. $43.99. That's really cool, actually. And Gatorland was established in 1949. That's amazing. They have some, looks like, worn baseball hats. Very fashionable. A little bit of Panama Jack style. This is a really cool. Look at that. I like this backpack a lot, actually. It's free! Oh, there, no, it's not. Darn it. $62.99. That's really cool. That's about the equivalent of, like, Pretty close to Disney prices. They've got knapsacks, all kinds of, oh. Hello, Mr. Eagle, sir. Look at these for little guys and girls. Ah, oh, so cute, $6.99. We've got different decals. What's this? this is pretty cute. Magic Bang Ocean, I don't know what it is. It's $9.99, it's just like a little stuffed toy thingy. Hmm, this is cool. $4.99. Look at the color on him. Oh, and they squeak. <laughs> oh, look at these. They've got macaws. These are so cool. $43.99. Are they puppets? They are puppets. Oh, that's so cute. Shirts and yeah, just lots and lots of gifts. So if you're looking for a souvenir from Gatorland, they have lots of them. Slingshots. Back here, right before, we're gonna actually probably wrap it up at the petting zoo, guys. There's so much to see here, like way more than I thought there would be. There's this natural habitat, check this out. Take away the fence. How primitive is that? Okay, take away the zip line tower. Look at that. That looks like some out of the Flintstone. This is just, amazing this is incredible they did a fantastic job with the habitats here now this is an area that it does say there's a warning that there are certain types of snakes out here you have to be very careful and inform the staff if you see them so if we're in flip-flops like me kind of keep an eye on the ground as you're walking through here because you might see a snake or two I wish you guys were here with me and could see the sheer size I think this is lockjaw Holy moly, that's a dinosaur. That's not an alligator. That's a dinosaur. That thing is humongous. Uh, wow, he's got a cage all to himself. I think that might be Lockjaw, actually. That is one big, big, big gator. That's the biggest I've seen so far. And there were some pretty big ones out there, but I think, I think we have found Lockjaw. Um, did you guys know that saltwater crocodiles was a thing? I had no idea. I thought, I thought, oh, ooh, I just stepped in a big puddle. Alligators and crocs were, um, freshwater, but these are saltwater crocodiles. And it actually says that they are the most aggressive crocodiles in all of Gatorland. And that they have to bring a shotgun in with them. Look at that jungle habitat. They have to bring a shotgun in with them when they go into the exhibit. I don't know. They don't look too aggressive to me. It's nap time. I was about to say, 
we're heading to the petting zoo to wrap this vlog up and then like 30 turkey vultures all came down at one time behind me. <laughs> oh, that was scary. Anyway, hold on, I'll show them to you guys real quick. Oh my gosh. This is crazy, look at this. All these guys landed at one time. Look. What are you guys doing in there? They found something. I don't know what. Okay, we're heading to the petting zoo. <laughs> to wrap this vlog up. <laughs> so we are wrapping things up in the petting zoo. <laughs> Ryan has a cone and they all wire. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom, nom. All these guys are waiting on that one cone. You can go ahead and give them the rest of the cone. Or this one. You can put it in there. Just drop it in there. It's okay. There you go. Here, go get it. Hmm, why thank you, Ryan. That was not delicious. It's in a mud puddle. <laughs> this is really cool. They have billy goats. I don't know what this is. Is this a steer of some sort? A cow? Hi, babies. Oh, they're so sweet, guys. Look at little Mr. Floppy Ears. Oh, hi. Um, Mr. Floppy Ears. You, you startled me a little bit. <laughs> This is like red clay in here. That's kind of cool, actually. Oh, we got some fighting with the Billy Goat's gruff over there, and he's like, hey, you two break it up. This guy's going to eat my toes. This is really cool. This guy, what is it called? A sulfur crested? Cockatoo. Cockatoo. This guy is actually in the petting zoo, too. He's like, hey, what's up? What's up? He's a silly guy. He'll give you a show. He'll give you a show. And then they have emus. I think that's like a baby. It's not very big. All right, cockatoo guy. Show us your best show. Well, okay then. Okay, guys. I think this is where we wrap this vlog up. I'm so I brought umbrellas because it was really, really raining this morning and then it didn't rain the whole time we were here. So I just carried umbrellas around for no reason. <laughs> anyway, I thought this was so much fun. There was so much here. There was way more than I thought there would be and that was really cool. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. I hope you guys had fun with us. I'm actually pretty warm. So I'm gonna go cool down somewhere and I think some haagen -Dazs might be, you know, in order. Anyway, I will see you guys all again very soon. Until I do, keep your flip-flops sandy and your alligators behind a big fence. Bye, everybody.